Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am not playing The Sims 2, I am playing something else and it's called Makeup. As you can see, I do currently have no makeup on whatsoever. This is my natural skin tone, do not judge me. Yes, my natural skin tone is blue. But if you would like to know what foundation I usually use, I usually use a Krylon TV paint stick in white mixed with a tiny pea-sized blob of Revolution Pigment Pot. But before I start, I do need to do something. I do need to remove my sunglasses. Yes, I do, and it is going to happen. Wait. Oh, I can't. Yes, as you can see, I do have eyeballs and they are stunning. They may be a bit bloodshot right now, but they are absolutely gorgeous. I have also scalped the neighbour. That's why my lace front looks so crusty right now. It is because I am wearing a scalp. Anyway, so today I am going to show you how I become very stunning and very gorgeous throughout the day. And I'm going to start by... <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to start by contouring. And when I do have this shade of blue, I do like to use this. And it is a Blue Blood palette by Jeffree Star. No, this is not sponsored. So I'm going to start by contouring. And use a tiny little brush like this. And I like to use this colour here. This blue. Slightly dark blue. But I like to be careful with a tiny little brush like this. Tap on here because I am now a beauty influencer. Hello. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to start by cutting this cheekbone in. Oh my god, that's a bit too much. Wait. Right. I'm going in and I'm going to start cutting the cheekbone. I like to use really tiny brushes because it's a lot easier to blend, I find, with a smaller brush. You can have more control of the way you put in the product. What I do, I like to cake on the cheekbones a lot because I'm going to go in with like a Ben Nye powder in a minute and cut the cheekbones and make them absolutely stunning. Okay, right, the cheekbones are going on, this is happening. And I'm going to go in with this minty tone. I like mintiness. Mint is nice. Okay, wait, I think there's a bit of pink on this already. I do, I don't actually ever cream contour. I do want to try it, but I don't. I like to contour with powders. Continue just blending this in and blend and blend and blend. Oh, I look like the Crypt Keeper. I am aware that this cheek looks a bit more purple than this one. That was not the intention. That was a mistake. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on my nose like this. Wait, that's pink. Right, I'm going to contour a little bit around the forehead to make that nice and small and nice and stunning. And I do like to cut that double chin in with some blue. I'm going to go up the cheek jaw and make that nice and sharp. So I am aware that this is not very neat, but it does not matter because we go over things multiple times. Next, I'm going to do my blush. Now, I know it's weird to do blush this early, but I like to do it early because I like to become more stunning more faster. So I'm going to use the same brush that I used to blend this because I don't have many brushes. Do not judge me. This palette, a blush, I got from Body Care in the Arndale Centre. Yes, don't judge me. It was like £2.50 or something. It's very cheap, but it's very good, and I love it. I would use Trixie Mattel's blush, because I have used that once when I was with her, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's such a good pigment. But I currently don't own a blush palette by Trixie Mattel. Trixie Mattel, please put me on your PR list. I beg you. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to go in with this dark pink and I'm going to put a bit of this bubblegummy one on as well because that's a bit more bluey and then I just wipe it on my glove a little bit to calm it down and then I'm going to put it on. I just love blush when it looks like it's been just thrown on the face. Yes, that is stunning. I want it to match my rollers that I'm wearing right now. Okay, continuing on the next cheek, making that very gorgeous. I probably will add a bit more blush later on but for now that is enough. Next, I'm getting my tin foil Ben Nye Super White powder. I'm going to dip it in the powder like this. I'm dipping it in the powder and then I'm going to drag it all the way up like this. Up the top like that. Absolutely stunning. And then, as you can see, my cheekbone looks so fierce. And the same on this side. All the way up to the top. I do it from the top of my ear. Some people do it differently. It depends what shape you want your face. And then dab in that over the mouth like this. I'm going to put a little bit more powder underneath my eyes like this. Just to get rid of those bags. And if it goes on the blush, that is great. That's absolutely perfect. You want it to go over the blush. You want to blend that Ben Nye Super White Powder in with your blush because it's airbrushing fabulousness. Then I'm adding a bit of blush onto the end of my nose. Next, 
Yes, the eyebrows are going on now. I need to get close and personal now with my face. So I'm going to use this mirror to look down on. This eyebrow pencil is that old, I actually don't know what make it is because the brand has rubbed off. So I have like a little speck here, I don't know what it is, but I use that to level out where I'm going to put my eyebrows. Going on. Done. And the next one. Absolutely gorgeous. I've done them quite high actually, haven't I? Okay, now I need my little foundation brush, where are you? I spend a lot of time in the day looking for things around my house because I can never find anything. I'm using the Krylon to mark out my eyebrows. Right, it's happening. Are you ready? In we go with the white foundation marking out. So I don't need that much, just to do the brow. And then I get the finger, this finger, and then I just dab that all over like this. Gorgeous. Be careful around this area because... <laughs> be careful around this area because um, this is where... <laughs> What am I doing with my life, honestly? Right. <laughs> right, now that that's nice and blended, I'm going to go in with the next one. Continuing on. Stop laughing, it's not funny. <laughs> I want to stop smiling, but I can't. It's because I've not got my sunglasses on. I feel very exposed right now. Okay, absolutely stunning. Right, that one needs a little bit more on. Pat that on again. Now, get you whatever that's called, and dab, dab that in your powder, and then just pat it all over the eyebrow and all over the brow bone. I don't actually have any eyebrows. I have shaved those off, because it's a lot easier to do drag with. But anyway, right, brush that powder back off. Now, the next thing we are going to do is... I've just realised I do have one purple cheekbone and one blue cheekbone, but that does not matter. That is absolutely fabulous. I'm going to do my lips. Now, I know what you're all thinking. You're all thinking, how dare you do your lips this early in the process? Well, I like to do my lips early. Lips are going on. Right, so I'm using Sugar Pill, Trinket by Sugar Pill, going all the way up over the lip like this. Yes, absolutely stunning. I have big lips today. I love a fat top lip. Right, bottom lip. Recently, I've been a fan of having no dip in my lip. I like having like a totally rounded lip like this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Right, what we do next is get the Krylon white TV paint stick and just go like this. And then go like this. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to get a little tiny brush like this. And then... <laughs> And then I'm going to go back into this blush palette and I'm going to use it as a lip liner. And I'm going to make the edges of my lips really dark. Now I like using powder as a lip liner because it's very dry and it mattes the lips. And then, uh, da -da -ing. and then a bit on the sides here. Oh, how stunning. That is a gorgeous lip. Look at that. Brrr. Next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start carving out my eyelids, and they're going to be gorgeous. Yes, I am not a professional beauty makeup person, so do excuse me if this is very shabby. It may be shabby, but it may be stunning also. Right, going in with this. I'm going to use the darkest one on there, because it's perfect for putting eyelids out. Right, here we go. All the way up like this. It doesn't matter how thick it is or how messy it is because I'm going to carve it out with foundation. Oh dear, I've just had fallout on my nose. That is because I did not tap the brush like a proper beauty guru. That is looking absolutely stunning. I'm going to drag it down to the nose, but not too far because then you start to look nasty. Right, there we go. That just to about there, I'd say. And then blend this a little bit. Right, gorgeous. Next one. If you get fallout like this on your nose, don't worry. Just dip it in the Ben Nye powder. The Ben Nye powder is going to save the day again and just do this. And if it doesn't come off like it didn't with me, then just turn it into freckles. Improvise. I do go through a lot of marigolds. Then I'm going to get the same brush that we used to contour with before and don't put anything on it. Just use the excess to um, blend this out. And I like to go up into my eyebrow and then I drag it down the nose. But stay as close to the middle as possible. Blending is the secret. Make that nose nice and snatched and stunning. Oh, how gorgeous are you? Yes, I am very stunning. This that we use to do the brow bone, I'm going to use that to cut the crease. Just go in. Don't be scared. Just do it. Sometimes I stretch the face like this and go from there and wipe that 
in, just proper plonk it on. Get that proper neat and stunning. Oh my god, she's so stunning. Look at that foundation crease. Right, it doesn't matter if it's not that even, because who the hell has an even face? Next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to use Trixie Cosmetics Glitter. It's called Marshmallow, and it's very good for matting my eyelids. I love it. Glitter can be very messy, so I tip it into the lid like this. Oh my god! Sprinkle it in. Oh my god, that's so stunning. Right, I'm going to use this brush again to put the marshmallow glitter all over my eyelid. Right, are you ready? Close your eyes. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Look at that shine. I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but it looks absolutely stunning in this light. Okay, I currently have my eyes closed, because I can't, so I cannot see where I'm putting this. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, and also I do this to get the glitter off. Oh, oh wait, I have flyaway hair. Right, here we go. Also, a lot of people ask me what my skin routine is. I don't have a skin routine. I just wash my face with soap. I use this before I put my makeup on. It's Nivea Soft. It's like £2.50 from Boots. I don't do that much to my skin, to be honest. And I think that's why I don't get many spots. It's probably just the HRT, but I don't know. Silvery tone, if you can see here. Oh my god, look at my face from the side. This is what I use to do my eyebrows. Now, I get a bit of black grease paint and I put it in here and then I use it to darken my eyebrows. Don't be scared, just do it. Right, there we go. There we go, oh my God, you look stunning. I match it up with this so it meets like this. Very stunning. You don't wanna like pat too much on under the eye. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit on the end of my nose here. Put a bit of dark blue. It just makes your nose look a bit more Put a bit under my lip here, like a lip shadow. So for highlighter, sometimes I use this. It's makeup or breakup. And if you don't know what this is, it's an absolutely fabulous stall in Manchester in Affleck Palace. And they sell gorgeous pigments and stunningness. Look at that. <gasps> okay, I put too much on. And then a bit up the nose. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going all over the face with the highlighter today. I look wet. I look absolutely stunning. Right, okay, dust that off a little bit. Next is my least favourite part of doing makeup, and it's eyeliner. Drag that down a bit. I love a thick wing. Not yet found my favourite eyeliner. I have the cheapest lash mascara. Go girl. Doing the other eye. So next I'm going to do my lashes. These are what I drag UK lashes. They are absolutely stunning. <sighs> I feel dizzy now. Right, I'm going to stick this on now. Oh my god, that is so gorgeous. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm absolutely fine, thank you. I am currently bending the lash. Going to put the glue on now. This is not ASMR. I am just being quiet because my neighbours are shouting at me through the wall. And if they, and if they knock on the door and I answer the door like this, I might scare them. So I'm going to be considerate. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to t continue talking because my videos are way more important. Okay, going on. This is a What a Drag UK lash. The other lash, I do not know where this has come from. I have just found it and I'm going to put it on my face. Okay, now this lash should be dry, so I'm going to put a bit of mascara underneath it and then I'm going to do my bottom lashes. This that we used to do our eyebrows before, I'm going to use this to apply freckles. But I do not currently have any blue lipstick, so I'm going to use this weird blue glitter. It's called Glitter File. Sorry, Glitter Flip. So I'm using this to do freckles, because freckles are stunning. Do a few like this, dun 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 dun, and then I get me glove and I go boom, 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 boom. Dab it up here. Okay, there we go. Looking absolutely fabulous. Alexa, tell me I'm stunning. I think you want to hear the song, Tell Me I'm Not Dreaming. No. Alexa, tell me I'm stunning. Did you mean play the song, Tell Me I'm Not Dreaming? No, I told you to tell me that I am very stunning. <coughs> She's very rude. Engine Rumbler 1. Try asking me for a silent fart. Excuse me, Alexa, that was very rude. Okay, she's not listening like to me to right now. Okay, Alexa, stop farting. Okie dokie. Yes, be quiet. Okay, next, we are going to do the highlights. And when I say highlights, I don't mean powder highlights, like white dots. Sometimes I'll use this. It's like a it's like a water-based uh, white makeup by MAC. But today I'm going to use acrylic paint, very, very, very fine paintbrush. And I'm using this gorgeous acrylic paint by Liquitex. Absolutely stunning. 
and I'm going to put that on the tip of my nose like this, on my cheekbones up here, and then I'm going to do my forehead. You look stunning, darling. Sometimes these highlights look so stunning on me, and then sometimes they just look like a bird's just shat on my face. I'm going to get this setting spray by Pop Beauty, which I got free at DragCon. Thank you very much. I'm going to spray this all over my face. Yes, this is happening. <gasps> And then, and then get my eyelashes and hold them up like this. Excuse me while I go and apply my wig. Right, so I'm fixing on my wig to look absolutely stunning. This is a bit of a mess, so I'm going to cover it with an absolute stunning beret by Alini. Oh my goodness me, my sunglasses. There we go. I have arrived. And I'm going to apply these absolutely stunning earrings by Girl1000 on Instagram. She's so good at making earrings. She's absolutely fabulous. Right, they are gorgeous daisies and they are going on. Look how stunning they are. These are made of clay as well. It's time to go to the supermarket and buy myself a loaf of bread. Actually, no, I'm not going to the supermarket. I'm currently quarantined in my own home, so I'm going to stay home and play Animal Crossing. Yes, that is happening. Hope you enjoyed watching me transform myself from Squidward into an absolute stunning blue alien gorgeousness. Thank you for watching and I shall see you next time. Goodbye! Ah.